Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Elizabeth and today we're going over five steps to keep your acoustic guitar nice and clean. It's a great habit to get into that will help make your guitar last even longer. So let's get right into it. First off, why do I have to clean my guitar? Keeping your acoustic guitar clean should be an essential part of your general guitar maintenance routine. Your skin gets oily and sweaty. Not very pleasant to talk about, but nonetheless true. And these natural oils and dirts can take their toll on your guitar's body, fingerboard, frets, and strings. So, whether your guitar is a regular pick-up-and-play instrument or a handcrafted masterpiece, it will benefit from the most essential of maintenance. Step 1. Get a lint-free cloth. Microfiber or lint-free cloths are crucial to a guitar's maintenance. A regular cotton cloth would shed any unwanted threads which love to get stuck under the edges of the frets and leave your guitar looking even dustier than it did in the first place. While microfiber cloths are non-abrasive, hypoallergenic, and virtually lint-free. So a microfiber cloth is a great way to go and you'll definitely want to get a few. Step 2. Use guitar polish. If your guitar has a lacquer, or also known as a gloss, over the body of it, using a polish to keep it clean and bring back the shine is a good idea. If your guitar has a satin finish or a matte finish over the wood, then do not polish it. There are lots of types of guitar polishes, and most are relatively similar. You should be fine with just any of the current brands on the market, and plenty of name brands such as Taylor, Gibson, Ernie Ball, Dunlap, and Martin make guitar polishes, so you could buy those either in-store or online. A word of advice though, always try out the polish on just a small area first to be on the safe side. So spray a small amount of the polish onto any of the lacquered parts of the body, maybe the back of the guitar, and then carefully wipe until it's clean and shiny. Be sure that your cloth does not have any grit to it. If you polish with a gritty cloth, you will be very sorry. Also, if you have an older or vintage guitar, you must be very careful. Most modern types of polishes will use chemicals and silicones, which can sometimes damage the lacquer on historic instruments. So, seek out a professional's advice before polishing your classics. Step 3. Take care of your fretboard. The fretboard on the guitar will most likely be made of rosewood or ebony, and unlike the body, it will be unfinished and unsealed. This leaves the wood more susceptible to drying out for one thing, and also leaves the pores open for dirt and grime to become embedded. The most common thing to use for cleaning your fingerboard is lemon oil, although some people recommend other oils such as linseed. Just apply a small amount to a dry, lint-free cloth, not the same that you use for the polish, and rub it into the fingerboard between the frets. Try to ensure you get right up to the edges of the fret, as this is a place that you'll get the most buildup of grime. Step four. Clean your strings. Unsurprisingly, the condition of your strings will have a huge effect on the quality of your guitar's sound. Trust me, I know this from experience. <laughs> Some people change their strings very frequently, and that's to be advised if you're a professional player with a very busy schedule. However, for most of us who aren't playing every single night, cleaning your strings after each session will ensure they last longer and sound better for longer too. Again, there are a number of brand choices for string cleaners. All you have to do is spray a little string cleaner onto a clean, lint-free cloth and wipe the strings. It will remove the oils and the sweat from the string surface, ensuring they sound good for longer. If you use coated strings, you'll find that you need to clean them less regularly, as they're already coated in a protective layer. However, users of traditional uncoated strings will benefit the most from a regular string wipe. Step number five. Put your guitar back in its case. We know that guitars look cool on the wall or on a stand in the corner of the room, but they'll get dusty and dirty much more quickly, and there's a higher chance of a passing child, dog, or accidental bump from a friend to break it into a million tiny pieces. Okay, I'm being a bit dramatic, but in all honesty, your instrument is going to be the safest in a case. Plus, this way all of your hard work and maintenance will not go to waste. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you or someone you know wants to learn how to play guitar or ukulele, you can go to my website and book your first lesson today. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lessons by Elizabeth. Links in the description box down below. And hey, I post every single Friday. So I'll see you next week. Bye!